Shalom. And thank you for joining us at the Hidden Truth Weekly News Review. Brought to you by Geely Inc. Here is where we unveil the truth. Kelly, your host, and these are the top stories for the weekly news review. Brimstone hits Russia today. Deception for profit. What's in your meat? Hello. Top story today? Brimstone hits Russia today. That's what we're calling it here. A meteor hits Russia today, as well as uh, they've been experiencing some earthquakes. Over a thousand people were injured from the meteor that hit Siberia, Russia. Friday morning. Scientists at the Russian Academy of Science reports that the blast was about 10,000 meters in altitude and they're calling it a balad. So it sent out a shock wave that could be felt like miles around and uh, you could see it within 125 miles away. And the meteor is said to have been going uh, about 33,000 miles per hour <laughs> and it was about two meters across the size of an SUV and uh, weighing about 10 tons and uh, when it landed uh, some of the damage that it caused it caused about 20 foot holes so uh, that when the, I guess when the 20 foot hole occurred that's when the earthquakes happened but they also been experiencing earthquakes throughout the region um, in Russia over there and Saka Russia they've experienced a 7.6 earthquake that um you know not a lot of people were uh injured or it's not reported at this time but uh as of now nobody was uh in killed but over 985 people were hospitalized and maybe 44 people were uh actually injured because of this um meteor that happened to Russia and you know we just need to pay close attention to this because there's a lot of things going on within our world and there's a lot of things that uh that's in biblical scripture that says would happen in the events that um someone messed with someone else or they uh you know had to get chastised so uh we're calling this brimstone <laughs> that came from the skies because it, it that wasn't man-made it wasn't from harp or anything like that but that that looked strangely eerily uh coming from the sky in its own unique way as brimstone to me so be on the lookout for meteors around because they're saying that an asteroid the asteroid 2012 uh, da14 is so close to earth at this time it's uh, in our atmosphere it's about 17,150 miles away and uh, they're saying it didn't have it's not correlating with uh, the meteor but I would could imagine that maybe a piece of the asteroid broke off and the meteor you know hit this Russia next on the uh, top news stories for today is deception for profit and we're gonna be talking about the horse meat that's been found uh, as a beef as a in beef products in Europe this past week. Well, it's actually been going on for a few months now and um, but it just came to light about a week ago um, that Aldi's grocery store, you know Aldi's, uh, it's a cheap German store that's here in America uh, they were known for you know growing their own vegetables and canning their own foods and producing and you know their own livestock but it came out that their lasagna and some of their ready prepared meals are 100% horse meat. That means the meatballs and the the steaks that are smashed together with meat, <laughs> I mean, meat substitutes or hot dog, anything. They've been using horse meat over there, I guess, because, uh, hey, people are poor. So, hey, we can just provide them with the cheapest unclean meat that we can find that would pass off as beef. That's ridiculous. So... Um, I just think it's really, really gross that they, they've been doing this practice. And the French and Germans are up in arms about finding out that the horse meat has been substituted for ground beef and cuisines throughout Europe. 
the friend, there's a French company that faces legal actions and could lose their license uh, behind the scandal. The UK police have arrested three people on Thursday at facilities in Wales and in Yorkshire, which had handled the horse meat and were raided earlier by the police uh, earlier in the week. Uh, this investigation, they have identified a French meat packing company um, as the culprits of the horse meat scandal, and they've implemented traders and abattoirs uh, from Cyprus all the way to Romania. The corporate here is Walter Spancaro, and his company is made with him and his brother. It's called Spancaro's, and they had generated a profit of 550,000 euros. That's equivalent to $733,800 here in, um, in American money. Uh, and they've done that. They've accumulated that much, that amount of money in about six months of time, uh, all over by misleading, uh, and mislabeling beef products and selling cheap horse meat as beef in a supply chain that revealed that you know they're they're a supply company so they are furnishing about 28 different companies in 13 different countries with this horse meat and Burger King and Aldi's just happen to be at the top of the, of the list and you know I can recall the time that I've eaten Burger King a long time ago because I've stopped eating fast food for about seven eight years now um, and it, it just tasted weird and I just didn't I, I knew it was something strange about it and, you know I've read stories before about it being horse meat uh, years past and so now I'm glad that it's actually coming to light so that you all can know what you're eating and you know just be more conscious of what you are putting into your body and, and what someone else is providing for you because they can tell you anything and they can sell you anything and especially since you're poor you're gonna buy it because you need the food and uh, I just think that we as a people we need to like start standing up waking up seeing what's going on question the FDA question why we, why are we receiving food from Romania when we have Angus beef here we have cows, we have chickens, we have everything here. We used to be the most industrious company here in manufacturing uh, different things throughout the world. Now they've just taxed our farmers and done so much so that we can't be uh, we can't be sufficient here. We have to get our ex imports from uh, other other nations. I just don't understand that. That that's unacceptable. And. Um, just know that only 2% of any meat, whether it's beef, chicken, turkey, or pork, it has to be present in a product in order to call it that particular product. And horse meat can be sold in meat products on the condition that it's declared on the label. Uh, and, the, and the government is saying that Spangaros, they knew that this was in fact horse meat coming from Romania. So... I just wanted to inform you on that because we do need to be aware of what we're intaking into our body because you don't want to eat any unclean animal or meat or be deceived when you're trusting um, a manufacturer for their services and you as a consumer are trusting what they say and you're getting deceived uh, in the process of just not following up or background checking on a company that's providing your food why wouldn't you do that 